Everyone has felt insecure before, but sometimes, insecurity can lead to self-hatred. It's one thing to not like parts of who you are, but when you're dealing with self-hatred, you also tend to have mental health conditions like high anxiety or depression. You might feel overwhelmed, but you deserve to be happy and you're worthy of love, especially from yourself. This video will go over how to stop hating yourself and start loving yourself. The video will be broken down into two parts. The first part will cover how to stop hating the way you look and other physical aspects, while the second part will cover how to stop hating your character and personality. A lot of people might feel insecure about how they look. Sometimes, that can spiral into self-hatred and frustration. When it comes to hating yourself because of your looks, you either hate parts you can change or parts you can't change or both. I'll talk about how to stop hating yourself for parts you can't change first. There are many parts of yourself that you just can't change. A lot of people hate themselves over something that can't be changed like their height. It's impossible to fight something you can't change, so instead of focusing on the thing you don't like about yourself, start by practicing some positive self-talk. Try to write out a list of things you like about yourself. If you can't come up with anything, that's fine. Try writing out a list of things you don't hate about yourself. Keep this list somewhere you can easily access, so when you're feeling self-hatred, you can refer to this list and calm down. Second, learn to start accepting this aspect as a part of you. There's nothing you can do to change this part of you, so you need to learn how to not care about it. You don't have to love that aspect of yourself. If you can get to a point where you're indifferent to it, you're in a good spot. Something that helped me get past hating aspects of myself that I couldn't change was focusing my energy on changing the parts of me I could change. The mind can only focus on one thing at once, so if you're focused on something else, you won't be focused on the negativity. This brings me to how to stop hating yourself for parts you can change. People also hate themselves over parts of them that can be changed like their weight. They know that it can be changed, but their self-hatred in combination with other things might prevent them from taking the first step towards change. If you hate yourself for a part of you that you can change, it will be solved by changing that part of you. The problem is that it's difficult. I recommend you to spend time with people that will make you happy in order to stop hating yourself. When you hate yourself, you might want to isolate yourself, but isolation is dangerous. Social interaction is one of the best ways to boost your self-esteem. Also, if you spend time with people who inspire and encourage you, they can help you take that first step to change yourself. Second, once you get the motivation to improve yourself, create a plan and follow it. As you follow that plan and you see the progress, your self-esteem will go up and you will stop hating yourself. Before I get into how to change your character, I want to quickly talk about going to therapy. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you clicked on this video, you might feel insecure about something or hate a part of yourself or maybe you're struggling with something else which is interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals. As for me, I used to struggle with hating myself for some of my physical traits like the way I look and my height. Working with a licensed therapist one-on-one -on -one can be a game changer that can help you get over your insecurities or hating yourself. Traditional therapy has a stigma to it and some people are uncomfortable with it, but BetterHelp provides online therapy. You won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. People also won't know you're going to therapy unless you tell them, so you don't have to worry about being judged. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist, and you can start communicating with them within 48 hours. This is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network, which may not be locally available in many areas. One of the great parts of this service is that it is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You will get timely and thoughtful responses back, and you can also schedule weekly videos or phone sessions. You won't have to deal with any of the uncomfortable aspects of traditional therapy. If you do feel uncomfortable, BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. Another great part is that it's more affordable than traditional offline therapy, and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today, so visit betterhelp.com slash the life formula, that's better H-E-L-P, and join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. There's a special offer for listeners of my channel. 
where you can get 10% off your first month when you go to betterhelp.com slash the life formula. Please do yourself a favor and check out BetterHelp if you're interested in getting online therapy. The link is in the description below. Some people hate themselves due to their character. Maybe they feel like they are too introverted, or maybe they feel like they are too extroverted. Although your personality is something that can be changed, that shouldn't be the first thing you do when you hate yourself for your personality. There's a chance that you should change your environment or who you surround yourself with. When you hate yourself for your personality, you should first ask yourself why when the negative feelings come. When you keep asking yourself why, you can figure out whether you should change your personality or not. Let's go through an example. Let's say Jim hates himself for being too introverted. He asks himself why and he figures out that he wants to be able to make more friends in group settings since he's often more quiet in group settings. Since Jim wants to be able to make more friends in social group settings, it makes more sense for him to work on changing his personality. If Jim hated himself for being too introverted because he doesn't fit in with his current friend group, it might make more sense for him to change his environment and find other friends that appreciate his introverted personality. If you find out that you just need to change your environment, you now know exactly what you need to do. I won't talk about changing your environment in this video, but I will briefly talk about changing your personality. To change your personality when you hate your personality, I recommend you to first find someone you really admire because of their character. It's easier to change your personality when you have someone you want to emulate. This person can be anyone from a celebrity to a family member. Find out what you like about their character and what traits you can try to incorporate into your personality. Try to keep it simple so it's easier to emulate. You might look up to someone who's charismatic, but you can't exactly copy their entire style of charisma. Instead of trying to emulate their style of charisma, you can emulate how they always elevate the mood of the people they talk to. You also don't have to do exactly what they do, you just have to do your version of it. If you look up to someone because of how they work hard at running their business, you can incorporate being a hard worker by doing what you consider hard work like working on your projects or working on improving yourself. Once you find out what trait you want to incorporate and how you can be that trait, you need to set up systems in place. Changing your personality is like creating a new habit. You have to keep practicing and get used to it. Try to practice that trait every day if you can, so you can add it to your personality. Let's recap some of the best tips mentioned in this video to stop hating yourself and start loving yourself. 1. Practice positive self-talk. By creating a list of things you like or don't dislike about yourself, you can stop focusing on the negatives. 2. Spend time with people that make you happy. By spending time with people who make you happy, you'll feel better and they can give you the courage to change yourself. 3. Ask yourself why when you feel self-hatred. By asking yourself why, you can figure out the root of the issue and how you can solve the issue. Have you ever experienced self-hatred? Leave a comment below and check out the video shown on the end screen if you like this video and want more content.